guys, so today I'm going to be doing a very, very basic eye look using the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. Um, this is all matte. I'm just using the top row here. And yeah, I'm going to be filming into my bathroom first tutorial at the new house, so any feedback you can give me will be much appreciated. I'm going to definitely try to edit it down some, so I hope it's not too jumpy. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've already done one eye, um, and then I'm just going to show you the next eye so this tutorial isn't super long. First things first, I'm going to go in with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot. As you can see on my eyelid here, it's red because of veins. So this will neutralize that and just give me an even base all over so that when I put my shadow on they'll be like the colors I see in the pan instead of muddled by that background. It's like, you know, when you're painting you want to start on a clean canvas. Okay, I've got my natural eyes palette. I'm going to be using the top row and I really love this look for summer. For me, summer's all about skin. I'm going to be using quite a few Real Techniques brush. This is the eye kit. Uh, the first one is the base shadow brush. I'm going to go into the lightest shade right here and I'm going to put that all over my eye area because I found that by layering my shadows, I have to do a lot less blending than by stacking them, if that makes sense. I want to lighten up the inner corner, so making sure it goes to the inner corner. Okay, next, I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques shading brush and go into the Cashmere Bunny shade it's just a you know a light brown and because of my eye shape I don't like to carry super dark colors all over my crease I obviously have a crease there you know no hiding that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little bit above the crease just to kind of give some dimension here and this color isn't too dark to just carry all over windshield wiper motions I don't have deep set eyes, but I'm kind of on the edge, so I don't want it to be too dark right there. Okay, now I'm going to go into the very darkest shade here, and I'm going to run that right along this edge right here. I'm not going to do windshield wiper motions with this super dark um, Sexpresso shade. Definitely tap off any excess, and I'm going to start with a light hand. Just kind of do like a little triangle here. And now that I've kind of laid down that color, I can go back in with my Sigma Tapered E40 Blending Brush and just do a circle right here. Okay. Now they look pretty even. Um, I can always go back in after I do my liner and darken it up if I want to. Let me go ahead and darken up this shade. Just a little bit. I'm putting the majority of the color here and then I'm just kind of pulling it up a little bit. For my eye shape, I just like the way this looks. I want to make sure that I didn't get any outside the edges, like that. And next I'm going to go in with this eyeliner. And you could just stop here. One thing you could do, um, just take the darkest shade here and just run it along the lash line instead of using eyeliner. But I love eyeliner. So this is the Urban Decay Double Ended Pencil in Perversion and Demolition. I'm going to go in with the brown shade and line my bottom lashes. I'm 
then I'm going to go in with the darkest shade and do the tops and I'll be right back in a minute. Now that I've got that top liner on, I want to smudge it out a little bit so it looks less harsh. I'm going to use this Real Techniques accent brush and just gently pull that out towards the middle. I know you're not supposed to pull on your eye like this, but I do it anyway. I guess I'm just a risk taker. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do before I um, add my mascara, I'm going to take this Real Techniques Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush, go through Cashmere Bunny, which is the middle shade on the top row, and then run that along my bottom lash line, and it will help to keep that eyeliner in place. And then go in the very darkest color here, um, Sexpresso, on that same brush, and just kind of darken, darken out that little edge right there. I'll go back and add some mascara and then I will meet you downstairs. Okay guys, this is how the final look turned out using my Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. I went in and added some mascara. The CoverGirl flinged out waterproof mascara on top and on bottom the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. And on my lips, I've got the Sonia Kashuk um, color in Sheer Mauve. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye.